Welcome to the 8th Commencement Exercises of the Filipino Academy, Batch 2024 at the Armani Hotel, Dubai. With our theme, Golden Learning, the Enduring Wealth of Education and Knowledge. Today, we will celebrate the significant accomplishments and dedications of our beloved students in the esteemed Academy. Let us all welcome the graduating students from their professional courses, starting with Arab Institute. Round of applause for our Arab Institute, ladies and gentlemen. Followed by Master of Project Management. Accounting, Dubai. AutoCAD, student. Business Management, Sarja. We have Business Management, Dubai. Civil Engineering. Certified Nursing Assistant. Digital Marketing. Logistics and Supply Chain Medical Coding Mechanical Engineering Reception and Office Management Teaching Assistant We also have Healthcare Services, Sarja And our Healthcare Services, Dubai Again, a big warm for our graduating students. We are excited to have you all right here in Armani Hotel, Dubai to witness the eight commencement exercises of the Filipino Academy. Pillars, the big, big pillars of the Filipino Academy. Starting with our CEO of the Filipino Academy. Put your hands together for Miss Joylin Kapinat. <laughs> and the chairman of AL Group, Dr. Adnan. Abu Ode. Dr. Adnan, we are pleased to have you on board. And our honorable guests, starting with 
Honorable Manford M. Angeles, Consul General Philippine, Consulate Dubai, and Northern Emirates, and representing His Excellency Alfonso Ferdinand Ver, the Philippine Ambassador to the UAE. Honorable Vice Consul General Jean Hemino, Dubai, and Northern Emirates. And His Highness Sheikh Lawyer Rashid bin Nasser Al Noemi, a lawyer and a son of the Deputy Ruler of the Emirates of Ajman. A round of applause, please, and let us all stand up for our honorable guests. We invite everyone to remain standing because we will immortalize this moment with a photo opportunity. May we invite all of our VIPs, guests of honors, the Filipino Academy instructors, faculty, and staff to please be in the center for our photo opportunity. Such an honor to be amongst our esteemed guests and honorable guests here tonight. And for sure, our students and partners, we will be learning a lot from what they have to share for our graduation. Again, a round of applause for our honorable guests. It is our privilege to have you here today. Let us all remain standing for our national anthem.
Please be seated. Again, allow me to welcome you all to our eight commencement exercises of the Filipino Academy, Batch 2024. May we call on here on stage Miss Virginia de la Cruz for our English invocation, followed by Mr. Muhammad Nadim Asim for the Arabic invocation. Great things for themselves and their families. It's a story that has been repeated countless of times here in the UAE since this country, this wonderful country was founded 52 years ago. Among the first Filipinos that arrived in the UAE is the widely respected architect, June Palafox, who came to Dubai in 1977. He was 26 years old and he was part of the du Dubai's town planning department. And literally, architect Palafox and other Filipino uh, engineers and architects were the ones who shaped the cityscape of Dubai and the rest of the UAE. So you should be proud. They were among the first Filipinos that came here and you are continuing a long tradition of excellence. We have Michael Cinco, we have Estra Santos. They are giants in their field, in design and fashion. And they are proudly Filipino, but they have made Dubai their base. And I think that's what you also want to do. This is the reason why Filipinos are accepted, well-loved and embraced here in the UAE. Because Filipinos continue to strive to upskill, improve, and to add on to your arsenal of knowledge, abilities. Now we number a million. We are now a million Filipinos here in the UAE. In every corner, nook, and cranny of the UAE, life and society. With our number, we Filipinos continue to shape the course of UAE's economy. We con contribute to the UAE's economy and, more importantly, to UAE society. At this important juncture in your life, in the commencement ceremonies, this represents a significant turning point for all of you. Everyone graduating today made a conscious decision to change, to improve, and that is why you are here to reap the fruits of your labor. Allow me to thank the people of Filipino Academy, everyone from, of course, Dr. Adnan, Joy, and uh, all the staff for making your dreams possible. As you graduate and receive your certificates of, com of completion today, this milestone coincides with, with the 50th anniversary of the establishment of Philippines-UAE relations. And I was telling Dr. Adnan, so that's the reason why one of your motive here today is gold, black and gold, because it's the golden jubilee of friendship between the Philippines and the UAE. I encourage, <laughs> I encourage you to continue making the Philippines proud with your achievement now, as you're receiving your certificate, and your future achievements because this is a country that made your dreams come true. Congratulations to the class of 2024. May your journey be as bright and valuable as gold, enriched by the knowledge you carry and the relationships you cherish. Mabuhay ang Filipino. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Congratulations to everyone. You an additional shine. One that you should never allow to dull or rust. Maintain your shine, graduates. Use the skills and knowledge that you have gained. Shine brightly in the industries, just like the precious resource of gold. Gold is often used across the world as a safe haven asset in times of economic turmoil or uncertainty. Similarly, education also provides a solid foundation that can never be taken away. It offers you, graduates, the, the foundations for stability and opportunities. Use what you have learned during your time with the Filipino Academy as the key to unlock doors, to open up the opportunities that offer you and your families stability in times of uncertainty. Interestingly, gold is one of the most malleable metals. This means it can be used to create many different forms. Sheets, jewellery, threads, used across industries across the globe. In a world that's constantly changing, our ability to learn and adapt to be malleable, like gold, is more valuable than it ever has been. The problems and challenges we face today, climate change, technological advancements, they demand from you graduates, innovative solutions and informed minds. Like gold graduates, your education and your knowledge that you have gained has given you the tools to be malleable, to flex and to adapt. It, they allow you to consider a range of perspectives and to contribute meaningfully to society. However, education is not just about acquiring information. It is about developing that information into wisdom to apply that for the greater good. It is about understanding different perspectives, cultivating empathy, and striving for a better world. The golden learning that you have received at the Filipino Academy is a beacon, a light, guiding you graduates to make a positive impact, no matter where your path leads. The wealth of education is never measured in dirhams or pesos or dollars, not even in gold, but it is in the richness it brings to our lives and those around us. Be proud of what you have achieved, graduates. Each of you sitting here is a testament to the power of perseverance, curiosity, and hard work. 
Graduates, you have navigated the challenges and triumphs of your studies, and now you hold in your hands the golden ticket to a future brimming with potential. But remember, this is not the end of your education. It is merely a milestone. Learning is a lifelong endeavor, and the world is your biggest classroom to continue to flourish and thrive. In the words of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, ruler of Dubai, he says, education never stops. What is new today will become old very quickly. To the elder generations, the diploma was the end of the journey, but with our newer generation, education is a never-ending ride. Education is infinite, and we learn new things every day. When a person claims to know everything, he or she stops progressing and falls behind. Never stop learning. Lifelong learning must remain the golden thread that continues graduates to allow you to grow and progress. Albert Einstein reminds us to commit to lifelong learning. Our most valuable asset is our mind and what we put into it. Graduates, as you step into the next chapter of your lives, I urge you to please remain curious, remain open-minded, embrace the unknown and be willing to learn from every experience, whether it comes from success or failure. Knowledge is not static, it evolves, expands and adapts. Hold tight to your purpose, graduates. Hold tight to your vision. Stay committed to personal growth and continuous learning. For it is through this that we truly enrich our lives and those around us. As you leave here today, remember your education is a treasure that can never be taken from you. It is an enduring wealth that will support you in all of your endeavors. Cherish it, nurture it, grow it, and let it inspire you to greatness. Today, we celebrate not just the end of your time here, but the beginning of your lifelong pursuit of learning. An investment, I am guaranteeing you, will yield endless dividends. Congratulations, golden graduates of 2024. May your journey be filled with the consistent knowledge of the... Actually, let's go. Congratulations, golden graduates. May your journey be filled with continuous pursuit of knowledge, the joy of discovery, and the satisfaction, graduates, of making a positive difference. The world awaits your contributions, and I personally have no doubt, graduates, that each of you will shine brightly like gold in all that you do. Thank you, and once again, a huge congratulations. Wow, thank you, Miss Anita. A gold. Our next speaker is the son of the deputy ruler of Ajman, and he's also a lawyer. To give us another inspiring speech, it is with utmost privilege to invite up on stage His Highness Sheikh Lawyer Rashid bin Nasir Al Nuaimi. Uh, prepared, so I'm gonna say it from inside. First of everything, most welcome for uh, Excellencies and uh, the whole of academic and uh, society of Filipino in UAE. And we are like one big society together. We raised by Filipinos uh, people when we was kids. At the same time, we are all like one big society merging this country and this wonderful uh, situation. So the thing is, what I'm gonna say for the whole of the people. Uh, Filipinos and uh, uh, between the students and the teachers and we saw them in all of the situations here in UAE. So the thing is most welcome between your second country and your second society here in UAE and most welcome to be between us. About the people who are studying, you are just finishing the first step in your life for this graduated. So there is a very long life in the future. I hope you reach the best situations and the best life goals you are targeting on your life for everybody. I hope to see you in all of our society uh, jobs, we can say, uh, and educated in all of the levels to be married here in this, in this country and in this life. We saw a lot of Filipinos nurses. We saw a lot of Filipinos accountants. We saw a lot of Filipinos uh, in all of the jobs. But I hope to see one day Filipinos lawyers. I didn't see it. But we will see, inshallah. Uh, so I'm going to say a bit in Arabic language. I'm so sorry because he, uh, when Mr. Adnan, he talk, he say some of his word in English and some in Arabic. Uh, maybe some of the people will not understand me, but I'm so sorry for that. مرحبا بكل الموجودين العرب الموجودين هنا نورتونا في الأكاديمي في تخريج الجامعة الفلبينية ونتمنى 
يكون في دعم من الكل ونشكر جميع الموجودين سواء من الموجودين او من الداعمين او من المدعوين سواء من كبار الشخصيات او من المؤسسين او من السفاره الفلبينيه بجميع الدرجات حتى لم طاوع الله يحفظهم يزاهم الله خير اللي قارين القران علينا اليوم الصبح فبما معناه مشكورين جميعا للحضور جميعنا يد واحده لنعتلي فان تكاتفنا وقفنا فشكرا جزيلا